Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. When it comes to marijuana dispensaries, communities around Youngstown have either limited themselves to one or none at all. But Warren City Council this evening bucked that trend, voting unanimously to allow three in their community. Three dispensaries in Warren. It's our top story tonight at 11. This evening's vote by Warren City Council was 9 nothing, with no discussion to allow three marijuana dispensaries to operate within city limits. Council members Helen Rucker and Greg Greathouse co-sponsored the legislation. Every ward in the city voted to approve that constitutional amendment to the state constitution. So, yeah, well, who are we to, to go back and try and second guess the, the constituents? They said they want it, they approved it, and well, let's make it happen. So far, we've had a lot of approval from citizens. You know, the city of Warren just about voted uh, wholeheartedly in every ward to uh, pass recreational marijuana. And so uh, and all the council people agreed, and so that we went forward. Warren currently has one marijuana dispensary, G Leaf, on Youngstown Road. So only two additional dispensaries will be allowed. The issue was previously discussed in a committee meeting. And three was a compromise. Some members of the committee wanted one, some members wanted five, so we picked three and we went with three. There are rules. Dispensaries can only go in commercial areas. They can operate seven days a week, but only from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. All security measures must be approved by the police chief, and nothing depicting marijuana can be posted outside. Our legislation is pretty basic. We're adhering to the rules of the state of Ohio, and, um, and so we will have hopefully three in Warren. Councilman Greg Greathouse says he knows of one dispensary that's already looking to locate in his third ward, in the Elm Road Warren Plaza, where Giant Eagle is located. There's some vacant uh, retail space up there, and they are in the process of doing uh, submitting their forms to the state, and they're doing the due diligence on that. Warren Council also heard from two women complaining of a vicious dog on Hazelwood Drive Southeast that's been attacking people and other dogs. Some council members said they've had similar problems in their wards, which prompted a suggestion that Warren look at strengthening its vicious dog's law. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.